guys, something a bit different with this one and it's bank holiday weekend and you join me down at Westwood Lakes lovely place, love it down here so we're actually down stopping in one at cabins so I'll give you a little tour of that so you can get to see what's in them we're doing a little bit of fishing, got a trip to Skegnesk as well so yeah, probably won't show you that part but I'll definitely show you cabin and fishing lovely weather, I think we do, it's going to get a bit windy, might get odd shower but at the minute it's lovely and that's all that counts and as you can see this is cabin here we're in number 25 and it is actually raining nice lovely bank holiday weekend weather so that's kestrel lake loads of fish in that it's lovely they come up here we're actually in number 25 and come in it's nice and warm in here Give you a little tour. So as you come in, that's the door we've come in. There's a hall. This is the bedroom. So there you are, lovely TV. Never seem to watch TV when we come away, but TV, wardrobe, bed. Obviously, we've got little and livers as well, so that's his little setup down here and an iron who doesn't need an iron <laughs> so there's a bit bit of stuff in here any board it's actually a vac nice freezer there save your bait obviously if you come in got dead maggots or whatever you want to put in freezer goes in freezer food yeah bathroom but it's nice, I've actually got a bath as well. There's hot tubs outside, so not much need for a bath, but decent shower. Obviously toilets and whatnot. Nice bathroom. So then come into living room area. Kitchen. So that's back up into all, back to the way out. Nice kitchen with everything you need. Obviously essentials. Mm -hmm. Nice microwave, heating's all on, Oliver's chair, little wellies, look at them, how cute is that? So yeah, and then nice smart TV, that's a view out of the window. As you can see there's no one on lake at the minute, it's getting a little bit late and it is raining, that's probably why. Car's parked outside, so we mainly use this side door to be fair we have stopped in these lodges quite a few times and they're always brilliant you do actually get a book that goes through so it's pretty pretty handy to know got a site map opening times of like the cafe the pub tackle shop tackle shop on site mega as well really well stocked it's where you book on for all your matches and this thing here so that tells you exactly it's up to date it tells you what lakes are being used so if you want to do a bit of pleasure fishing you have a look at that and make sure that you're not going to be going on a lake that's got a match on it and then this gives you a bit of information about how to fish all the lakes what fish are in them what size look at that swallow lake looks like it's the ones for the big fish 20 pound plus Falcon Lake outside here is Kestrel Lake, so they've got a ten pound in there. Kingfish is a good lake as well. They're all really good. So let's get on to fishing now, and I'm actually on Skylark Lake here. And as you can see, there's cabins all around this lake, so this is one of the most popular lakes when it comes to pleasure fishing on here, even though they're all rammed with fish. So with this one, I'm going to give you a basic run through of where you're going to catch, how you're going to catch, and how to have a good time when you're here. So as you can see this is a, what we class as a typical snake lake so you've got an island to fish to, middle and edges, that's your main three lines I'd say. These lakes are all full with car, barbel, F1s, loads of fish in them and if like that little booklet's got in what fish they're in each lake so have a look at that if you've got any species in mind. But the main target species have we said are carp and F1s. 
I like to keep it dead simple when I'm fishing these so you can either fish across, short down the middle and down the margins. So we've just fished the match and now it's that time of day, late evening, you're going to catch down these margins. So I'm going to do that now. Fish some maggots, I've just got three maggots on hook, some pellets in my pot. Stick Adam on Ed. Should have hit him a bit harder. And that's it. Uh, off. Down the edge down here. Just drop it in. Nice little flat area it is. I'd say main bit is down here. Definitely pellets, maggots and corn as well. You'll always do alright on them. No need to complicate it. Keep it dead simple. And there we go. So the, the floats, the floats set. I say we just had a match. So pulled all nets out, weighed in, and now it's time for the fish to come and eat all that leftover bait. To be fair though, you're not allowed to throw your bait in after the match here. So oh, there we go. That didn't take long, did it? I reckon it's an F1. Yeah. There we go. That lovely looking F1. Oh, it's gonna wiggle. We don't want to wiggle. Come on. A bit lively. There we go. Yeah. Flipping back and hopefully get some more decent stamp F1 than that. Go on. Normally can't, but who cares when F1s are like that? So there we go, just going to have another drop in. It's always one of them, I'll have one more go, one more go, but I'm just going to drop in there with my maggots, put my little toss pot round, and there we go. Trap set. Are you watching all? Ollie's watching. So we just sat, oh, there we go. I'm going to say waiting for that little dip, but it dipped before I got to say it. Lovely evening for it. Sun's out, nice and warm. We're playing a fish, that's what it's all about. Oh. It's going a bit. It's going a bit. Ugh. Can't see a thing because of that sun. I think it's coming back round. We're a proper bite, so I'd say that it's up in the mouth. But it's that time of day when carp start moving in, so could be. Another carpet top then, didn't get a, a look at what it was. It's right in the sun. There we go, it's coming round now. Got it under control. Do like my time of ways down here, that's what it's all about. After match, one top kit, a couple of sections of pole, and you can have as much fun as you want and then go relax in a hot tub with a beer. That's what we like. Oh, another common. There we go. I'm just done hook him. Let me pull that away just in case he moves. Have a quick look. Chunky fish out there. Oh, bit lively. There we go. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> right, slipping back there. So we'll go. Just add that one. Put 
three fresh maggots back on, filled his little pot up. And back down the edge. Dead simple. So I want to be right precise where I'm putting it. That's why I'm just using a little little fruit shoot pot. I don't want to overfeed them. Just trickle a little bit of bait and put my maggots right over the top. Ooh, had an indication there straight away. I say it's time of day as well now. Then fish get grubbing round. Typical carp feed down the margins. Oh, I can see a tail. Oh, there we go. That's another one. Now will it be a carp or an F1? I've had mainly F1s down here, so I'm going to go F1. But you never know. It could be a carp. It's fighting a little. It's got a 13 Jura slip on here. It's coming in nicely. Putting up a bit of a scrap. It could actually be a carp, this, you know. Oh, it is. Be common. Uh oh, I know. Ollie's telling me, uh oh. Definitely time of day. It'd be alright if we had a few more of these it matches, let me tell you. There we go. That's all it takes. Little pot that's on end, a few maggots, set a little trap. Sometimes if you dump a load of bait in, you're just going to end up with power lookers because you get a load of fish in your peg at the minute. I'm trying to just get one in at a time, catch it, come out and then catch my next one. There we go. In the net. So there we go. Just stayed on afterwards. Got a couple of fish. Nice looking common. Look at that. So I'm going to slip him back and head off home.